Yo, what's up? My name is Quentin Alston. Hey, everybody. I'm B. Gutierrez. It's your boy, JD No Chill. Uh, I'm a comedian. I'm going to be talking about the best and worst moments of uh, 2019. Um, so my worst moment of 2019, I just think we should cancel the terms energy and toxic. Those words are overused constantly. It's the most annoying thing. Everything's toxic. This person's toxic. The environment's toxic. It's a terrible word. Just stop using it. Just stop it. It's always petty white girls using it. Stop using it. Toxic for everything. And energy. Everything's got energy. All of a sudden, everybody's a scientist and they're all about this energy. You bought your crystals at Forever 21. Fuck you and your energy. <laughs> Let's start with the worst. The worst thing that happened in 2019 was that, uh, that Jesse Smollett thing that apparently happened during Black History Month. I didn't know that. Jesse Smollett in custody and under arrest just minutes ago. Police released his mugshot. Here it is. In just a short time from now, he'll be in front of a judge for a bond hearing. Investigators say he is no victim and that his story is now unraveling. That was, uh, that's a lot extra. He's a funny guy and I think just because biracials are so new that for him to be biracial and do that, I really hope that that doesn't negatively affect us. Like Blake Griffin's career has been quite cool after that and I really hope that that continues, but that was a big hit. Worst moment of 2019 has to have been uh, probably Nip, Nip, Nip a dying. You know what I'm saying? Nipsey Hussle, one of my guys, Earl Clarkson, shout out to him, Kansas City on, uh, put me on Nip. You know what I'm saying? Way before I was even hip, told me how like he been doing the business moves and everything else. So I was on Nip before he even like died or people started really following his move and like. As I was following him, it's like, yo, I gotta meet dude, I gotta talk to dude, I gotta break bread with dude. Like, even if for a brief conversation, cause that dude, he's he was somebody special, you feel what I'm saying? So I just really wanted to talk to him, man. So that was like the saddest moment for me in 2019, man. He was a cultural icon and he was meant to be one of the greatest. Uh, and he had a whole lot more to do, a whole lot more to teach, and he was giving back too. Like he was the one like bringing the next man up. It was Nip. Like if, he, if anything, it was Nip. You know what I mean? The best thing about the new Spider-Man, right, is where the love interest was Zendaya, and she's a halfer too, right? She's half white, half black. When they did, she was the love interest, and they they just let her be the love interest. Like they were cool with it. They just let that happen. Nobody was like a biracial love interest, a partially black. They just. Nobody thought anything about it. Like that is so much progress for us. Like that's huge. Cause she looks a little bit like ethnic. N no, nobody had a problem with it. Everybody was cool. My best moment of 2019 is the karma moment where James Harden gets hit in the face by his own basketball that he's throwing down in a hissy fit against the Pelicans. About the contact, Harden just lost Ooh. the man. Oh, and then put it into his own chin. As he slammed the ball to the ground, it came up, and that, that'll that was... Mark. When he throws the ball down, he is being such a whiner about it, and it smacks him in the face, and he just stands there completely, like, befuddled. The guy that got the block on him straight up just looks at him like, whoo, whoo! It's so, it's just a magical moment of karma, just over a hissy fit for nothing. Um, I would say my best moments of 2019, like the most funniest moments for me is when 50 Cent start checking everybody for like money. Like he's like, yo, you owe me three G's, you owe me 30 G's, you owe me a hundred G's, you owe me a million. And like people were scared. Like, yo, 50 Cent was punking people like he the IRS. Like the fact that 50 Cent, he not no more than like five foot 10, like probably two, 240, maybe 230, solid, you know what I'm saying? And people were big, big scared of this motherfucker. Like you could be bigger than 50 and they scared of this motherfucker. Like, I don't understand it, but that is like the funniest shit. Like I think I ever seen. So it's like, it's like you grown adults getting punked on the schoolyard. Like I understand, like I, I had a moment when I was younger and I was getting punked, you know what I'm saying? But as I got over that stop. And I don't think I'm gonna let a grown man punk me. Like I'm gonna be a man about mine. Like if you're gonna punk me, like, you better whoop my ass too. Like you ain't finna just like ah oh, blah 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 blah. Nah, I don't owe you shit, partner. If we got problems, you can see me. But it must be something that 50 got on these people because people were scared. They like, here you go. 
What you need? B. Gutierrez, and these have been my best and worst moments of 2019. That has been my worst, well, best and worst moments of 2019, man.